back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be teaching you how to make the Elder Dragon. I know I designed a lot of dragons. It's actually my fourth. And yes, I will be working on designing the Chaos Dragon with scales once we hit 20 subscribers. If we hit 20 subscribers by June 20th. But there will be more opportunities in the future. But the point is, we will be, I will be teaching you the simple, no, not simple, the Elder Dragon, which is simpler than the Chaos Dragon, I'll tell you that. Think, you remember Shuki Kata, the guy who designed the Western Dragon and a lot of animals, and he's pretty cool. He designed the Western Dragon, and he designed the Simple Dragon, think of it like that. A simpler dragon, and a more complex dragon. Okay, let's get started. Start, you're going to start by folding this corner oops we're gonna fold this corner to this corner By the way, I would not recommend this for beginners, but if I'd recommend doing this before you do like a more complex dragon. So, if you're looking to do the Ancient Dragon, or the Fire Breathing Chaos Dragon by me, or the, even the Western, or the Western Dragon, do this first, or I'll practice the steps. And make, as the, I'll be using a 20 inch by 20 inch sheet of um, single tissue. Everyone says single tissue is only for insects. I just, I strongly disagree. I use it for pretty much everything I do. Make strong creases and make sure they're precise. Okay, unfold. Flatten it. Now fold diagonally in half in the other direction. Oh, like I said, comments are now on. So feel free to tell me what you think of my models. And remember, no cursing. Or um, if it whether it's a good comment or not, I'll delete it myself. It's a family-friendly channel, even though this, these videos are not for kids. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do once we unfold is we are gonna fold this edge so this edge to this crease so that they align be clear we do the angle bisector of the line oh Stay tuned for the um for the finishing for the collapse and the shaping of the he origami hedgehog. Not hedgehog, quite I keep saying that. Um, the origami porcupine. It'll be coming out soon. To be honest, I've been too late to work on it. Now, do that again, but with this edge and the same crease. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna unfold and we're gonna rotate one hundred eighty degrees. Or how much you prefer. Doesn't matter. Now, we're going to repeat with the same crease, but with this edge and this edge. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't put it on the right. I have a beautiful cold. Okay, strong crease and unfold. Now, fold this edge to this crease. Yeah, I made um this ornament originally when I was designing it with my grandparents when I visited them this weekend, last weekend. So, 
this is the, I'll be teaching that now. I think you're going to find it pretty cool. Yeah, pretty, that is really cool. It's, it doesn't have, it's not, it doesn't have fire, but it looks just as cool as the fiery, the fire-breathing chaos dragon. <laughs> now, unfold, and we're going to create a rabbit ear here and here, creating the fish base. Yeah, no, it's not that hard at first. It's gonna get more complex, I can tell you that. Okay, and repeat. But make sure you flatten it both sides so that you can flatten it, like, so that it's easier to work with it. Okay, now work on this. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of a hold that's a bit harder. Basically, we're going to make a mountain fold along this crease and make a valley fold along this crease and repeat here. So, we're going to do it all at once though. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make the mountain fold and the valley fold. And then the other side. Make sure that the paper stays not cramped. Hmm. And make sure you create a certain a special type of rabbit ear. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I find it pretty cool, at least. Yeah, really cool. How this thing works. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, once you flatten it to both sides, we're gonna squash it along this crease and this crease. And make almost a perfect preliminary base. People call it the square base, and people call it the, it's the official names of preliminary base. Anyways, more proper name. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this is completely flat, then we're gonna fold this to the side. And we're going to squash it. That flap. You're going to see a step similar to this step I'm about to show you in the Western Dragon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pinch here. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And we are going to fold along this mountain fold. Basically, we're gonna recreate it on the other side. It's not gonna lie flat completely. It's not gonna lie flat right away. That's why we have to do some special stuff in it. Okay, come on. There we go. <clears throat> come on. Got it. Okay, so now we have it. And it's gonna look like this. As you see, it's not flattening easily. You can all just flatten it like this, but that would not look good. So what we're gonna do, oh, sorry, that was my watch. What we're gonna do is we are going to fold it so that we make this point 
to this point, basically in the point where the corner where it wants to, we're basically going to push the corner in, right, where it, it starts curving right here. And then we're going to fold it so, so, that it go, so that the crease goes to this corner. And now we have the first side button, but that's not what we're all all we're gonna. That's not all we're gonna do. We are going to fold this into fourths. So fold in here, and repeat here. Make sure you line it up well and unfold. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we are going to do some reversing or whatever you want to call it, pleat reverses, that's what I like to call it at least. We're going to, um, basically we're going to work, we're going to start by working here. But make sure your creases are extra strong. Okay, so we're gonna work. We're gonna fold here to we're gonna make a mountain fold along the crease and fold and combine the two mountain folds with a valley fold or kind of align them is what the right word is. And we're gonna make the mountain folds in the middle. Trying to show it the best they can, but it's hard to show. Sorry, guys. Okay, now we're gonna flatten it. Then we're gonna work over here, which should be a bit simpler since most of these are already in place. This takes some time. Don't try to rush it. There we go. And we have our creases. Just make sure it flattens. And it's gonna look like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold, we're gonna make, we're gonna basically, we're gonna take this here to here, this point, Actually, no. We're gonna do here, this cre this whole crease, to this edge. We're gonna fold it, basically aligning them, and basically we're gonna divide it into fourths. The best equally we can. The equals. That's another word. The best equal division we can. Now we have this, and we are gonna carefully open it up and make a pleat sink. Basically, I'll try to describe the best you can, but like I said, you might want to work up to this model and then work up and use this model to work up to the Fire Green Chaos Dragon.
Yeah, take your time. Come on. Okay, I think I got it. Have it. Yeah, it's parking me pretty hard. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this to the side and we're going to repeat and this to the side too. We're going to repeat all those steps on the other side. We have it. Now we're gonna do the usual. So we make the partial weird pedal hold. As you see, this part will flatten, which is good. <clears throat> now, we're going to... Yeah, I guess it's more level of the fire dragon, but still, it's not that bad. Now, we're going to repeat so that we make those pleats. Replete. <laughs> Basically, you want me to get forward to them when I'm done with this part of it. It's not that bad. You just have to. Uh, if you, and if you if you remember it, you can always rewind to see it again. I'm gonna go a bit quicker you now. You need to have sharp nails like me to not rip the paper. We have it flattened. And now we're gonna do the usual pleat sink on here. So okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm using a strong and thin paper. It gets thick, but also needs some needs to be resistant. No, 
how we're resisting, but nice needs to be strong enough. Okay. Hopefully I'll do better on this one. I'm gonna work from the corners. Yeah, I'd recommend start starting with my regular dragon, then do the um the red, the red flying hood, then do this, and then do the by breathing chaos dragon. That's the order you should try it in, and then maybe the western dragon or some, or, or some other dragon you're interested in. But you look at, like I said, you gotta work your way up to it. If you like attempt, like I don't know, the ancient dragon on your first day, you can work on me, man, it won't go well. Okay, did it. And we have it now. We're gonna finish it off. So now we have to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically. We're gonna divide, we're basically gonna divide We're gonna divide this flap and this flap into the quarters. So we have we're gonna fold it to here. If you've done the Western Dragon before, you might recognize this, this as a similar step. That's not completely the same. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. Okay. Now, we're going to open this up. And we're going to hold this here. And we are going to basically make a bit of a pleat reverses again. Not exactly a pleat sink. And then we're going to use... Then it's not going to fully lie flat on this side yet. Because we have, have this part to add behind. So basically we're going to make it into diamonds. If you recognize it from some of my other models. Some other, and a bunch of models out there. So basically, we're going to make mountain folds. And then, we're going to do one more.
and we have it. Try to keep saying that. I'm just gonna kind of finish this thing up. Okay, so we have this part done. Almost. Gotta fix it up. And we have this part done, this side at least. We're going to fold this down. And we're going to fold that to the side. And we're going to repeat here. So make your creases are strong, as usual, you know me. We're going to divide it into four. Make it strong. I already keep saying that. That can be really annoying. And we have this. Now we have to do the pleat thingy again. And then we'll be done with this part. For now, of course. Then we are gonna just flatten it. It's okay. Okay. Okay, now all we have to do is line the creases up on here. And then we have to do some more pleat sinks, a couple more. And then we have to work on the toes on some toes, and then we should be done with the hard stuff. Hopefully. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I think we are. Okay, by the way, this is the tail that I'm working on. As you see, it is com officially completely flat. We gotta make sure this 
put this down. Now, it's not going to be flat anymore. We're going to open this up. And you guessed it, we're going to do the pleat sinks next. So, this time we're only going to fold into thirds. Should be a bit easier. But, most of it should be easier. Plus pleats. Yeah, I like making dragons. They're a lot of fun, usually. Okay, and now, finally, this one. And then, like I said, we've done the hard stuff. We're not done up here, though. And now I mean it when I say we're done with the hard stuff. Basically, we're going to fold this to the side. Whatever side you prefer. <clears throat> and then, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the toes on here. Which aren't that hard. You just make some run burst folds. So, I'm going to go here. Really it. Not bad. And repeat and we're gonna repeat over here, so lift this up. And make two reverse folds. Um, now, what we're going to do is, we're going to make our, basically going to do, we're going to reverse fold here. We're going to basically fold a reverse, kind of a, some type of squash reverse fold, so to explain. Basically, I'll show that again. We make a crease from around here. To this point and flatten then this is the next step we're gonna make a pedal fold a half pedal fold I believe it's called now we're gonna be on this side so make the claw 
bit more, uh, the, the leg of the claw a bit skinnier. And then, basically, we're going to fold. Well, actually, we're not going to do anything with that. Okay, so we have all these. And now, I mean it when I say we're done with the top, I think. What we're going to do now is we're going to work on the head. For that, we're going to, um, what we're going to do, now the, the head is whatever you want it to be. It could be an ancient dragon head, it could be much any head. I'm going to, uh, um, the head is more customizable, so I'm just going to, I don't remember, that's because I don't remember how to make it, so I'm just going to kind of make, an, uh, I don't know what type of head it is, but I'm just going to make a head. I'm just going to create Basically, I'm gonna create a rabbit here. Now, this part you don't have to follow along until I'm done with the head, because, like I said, the head is custom, whatever you want it to be. I'll just narrate it if you want. I think I'm going to do um, this. Actually, no. Actually, yeah, no. to watch the video till the end is um some of the stuff it's it, i can't make, i'm gonna explain later okay we have the pedal fold now we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna Fold this corner. Actually, no. Fold this edge under um underneath here, and then create a rabbit here. Actually, yeah. Create a rabbit here. Actually, no, we're not going to create a rabbit here. And then repeat here. And now we're going to fold it. Now we fold in half. And we're going to basically call this the seesaw fold for you. Basically, we're gonna push this in as this comes out. And we're gonna hold, tuck this inside like this. This is also taste. Okay, if we do that. Okay. Now
Look at that. <clears throat> Basically, we are going to... We're going to work on the head now. Now, this is where you shape your head. Because, like I said, this is however you want. There we go, that looks good. Good enough, at least. Except I'm gonna hold this in a bit more. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the claws out a bit. And we're gonna make, we can shave the toes, but I'm not really gonna show that. I'm, we don't have to, I don't really gonna show that. Um, just, I think you guys know how to do that. You gotta pinch them. And if you don't, just check out my other videos. And then we're basically, we're gonna work on the wings. Basically, the wings are pretty simple. Then repeat here. Now, we're going to basically want to make some pleats. Um, on the neck, we're just going to make two. Actually, we're only going to make one. And all we have to do is push the belly in. But otherwise, we're done. Open the tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.